Good morning, you guys. Just woke up, and it's always my favorite to see this little man in the morning. Come here, what happened? Huh? Wait, no, we're still cleaning. Okay, so we try to clean at night, but honestly, we're just so exhausted that I go against my own rule, and we don't clean at night. So then when I wake up in the morning, we clean, which is kind of counterproductive because he's gonna, He's gonna play with his toys like minutes after we end up cleaning, but I just feel like it's at least teaching him to be a little tidy. Who knows, right? I don't know what I'm doing as a parent ever. But so far, this little dude has been thriving. Don't throw it. You kick him butt. All right, well, let's get the day started, yeah? It is 8.17 in the a.m. We're in the car and this is rare for me to do but I just woke up so exhausted so I'm gonna go get some coffee. We're gonna go to a drive-through Starbucks. Mama, what's that? The dog, the dog. What dog? This, we get dog. I don't see it, baby. We get a garage. Oh, I don't know what you're saying, my love. We get, we get, we get. What is it? Oh, the light? Yeah. It's from Mama's car. Yeah, okay, yeah, we're gonna go get some Starbucks. Drive through is. Do it again? Exactly. <laughs> All right, we just got back from Starbucks and I wanted to share my order with you guys because I know you guys always are curious. I got the Blonde Caramel Cloud and it, it has like this big foamy thing. If you're allergic to eggs, don't get it, but. um. I got a triple shot and I got two pumps of vanilla just to make it a little bit sweeter. <sighs> just to get my day going because I don't know why. I've just been so dang tired. I feel like I'm gonna sneeze. But it's yeah. Sneeze Sneezing is not a bad word. He's the bad word police these days. Like sneeze is not a bad word. Like no, nope. sneeze is not a bad word. Like I didn't say fuck. Did I say fuck? I didn't say it. I didn't say that word. Maybe I did. Did I say it? I don't think I said it. Why would I say it? Okay, fine. Let's go. This girl has been following me all morning. I just, I don't know. I think she's so old. She just doesn't like Taika's young energy. Look at this. She's so cute. Going to work now in my office. And by office, I mean the guest room that so happens to have a desk in it. Yeah, that one. <laughs> Why trying to sound like I'm all bougie? I don't have an office. I just have a, whoa, fun. You made me fall, dude. A bedroom with a desk in it. Okay. Woo, it's bright. Okay, let's get to work. Let's get to work. See you guys in a couple hours. All right, so I'm in Bart's room that has a desk in it as well that he likes to call his office, but it's also our podcast room. Um, and I just finished a meeting with Aaron and Bart. It feels very sad in here, but it's not, trust me. A lot of billion dollar ideas just happened. Billion? Yeah. Billion dollar ideas. All right, so now it is lunch break and I love when we cook the day before and there are leftovers because it makes lunchtime so brainless. And trust me, when you've been working all morning, you want things to be as brainless as possible. So I'm warming up some rice. I think that's good. And if you guys don't do this, you guys should start doing this. Anytime you warm anything up, I've noticed, any type of carb or protein, even veggies, um, add wet napkins on top of it and it leaves everything moist. Whoops. Sorry, let's see. Look at that. See that? It really does look like um, how we made it yesterday. And if you guys want a simple idea for some healthy, yummy food, we've made these videos about this particular recipe multiple times. We call it Monster Mash. And yeah, we make the it's white rice. We put it in the rice cooker and we buy these from like Ralph's or Vaughn's or whatever. This is just like a, a vegetable medley. 
we put the rice in the rice cooker. We add, you know, about half the portion of, is water. The other half is chicken broth. Yes, baby. Oh, excuse me. So it's one half water, one half uh, chicken broth. And then we just make it. And then we get some ground lean beef like this. We make it, we season it, we put like garlic powder, onion powder, salt, pepper to taste. And then you cram some, you put it on top. And I just use like light ingredients to flavor it a little bit. All I use is ketchup and mustard and it's like so bomb. I also have really plain taste buds. So that's probably why I really, really like it. But if you're like me and you also have very plain taste buds or you're trying to just diet a little bit more, this is for you. It looks like dog food, but it's not. It's bomb. It's really bomb. Just mix it up. Look at all those veggies. So you have your carbs, veggies, and protein. One simple dish. You can make a big pot, as you guys see. And it's feeding about three, four people. And we have it for a couple days. And I like it. What? I just noticed that my microwave has all these instructions on it. I had no idea. Cereal? I don't get it. What? That's tight. I had to run and get the camera because Papa is so ridiculous. As you know, Papa, turn off the music so you can hear me. What? Papa's so ridiculous. Sorry. Okay. He's so ridiculous because, okay, that's his office. This one's mine. He walks into my office out of his office. Look at that face. And he gets this. He gets this. A mangoniada. And I love it. So there's fresh mango. The red stuff's chamoy. This is tamarind, tamarindo candy with some uh, pepper, I guess. Or not pepper, uh, chili. And then this is mango ice cream. More chamoy. You see that? I just drank a mouthful of spit because that's how bad I want to eat it. And I'm sure you have a mouthful of spit as well. But too bad it's mine. <laughs> just kidding. That's fucking mean. I'm just kidding. But look at that. Damn. Okay. What possessed you to do that? Well, it's because um, we're all busy today. And uh, I had to eat lunch first because I was really hungry. I didn't get a chance to eat lunch. And I wanted to eat something with you and your mama and Taika. Oh, so you want us to eat it together? Yeah. Okay, so we're taking another break. I just finished with my mm -hmm. lunch break. Can we? <laughs> we can wait till later. Let's do it. You sure? Yep, let's do it. Now I'm going to follow you. Go. <laughs> Go. Go over there. <laughs> You're a good girl. You're a good girl. You're so happy. You're so happy. Look how old she's getting. Her little hips give out so fast. That's just what happens with German Shepherds. They have this thing called hip dysplasia. And that's the first thing that there's. I wouldn't be surprised because this is what happened to Tyson. If eventually she's just immobile, has her little hip hips. Hip hips go away. Hip hips go away. No, like hip hip hooray. Yeah. Oh, and my mom told me that this little boy, Papa, yeah. guess where these were? Where? In the toilet? No, oh God. Let's not give him any ideas. Where? That's In all I them. Trash can. Oh, <laughs> cute. That little punk over there. The cutest little punk ever. I love him so much. This is Taika not taking a nap. It ain't always pretty, y'all. So we're gonna go for a drive, put him for a little nap, because he just starts crying for no reason. Are you feel better? No. See, he's very grumpy. You wanna take a nap? Yeah. Okay, we'll take a nap. Okay. Even though he is home, we're gonna put him, put his ass to sleep. All right, so 
this dude is sleeping and we drove all the way out to home goods i was hoping he would have enough time of sleep because he lived uh, we live quite a ways from it he should be waking up soon so i'm just waiting for him to wake up all right so taika ended up sleeping in my arms for majority of the trip but i bought some stuff and i can't wait to show you or can i it's cute i'll show you all right so finally home this guy's really happy <laughs> This guy's really happy because he got a toy and you guys should have seen the type of negotiation that was going down. The first thing he saw was a soccer ball, right? So he wanted the soccer ball, we're driving. After he gets a soccer ball, then he wants another football. So then I'm like, okay, you can only have one thing at a time. So then we exchanged the soccer ball for the football, remember? And as we're with the football, um, he sees this thing. So then he gets this thing for a little bit. And then he saw another, stop, he saw another, <laughs> He saw another um, soccer ball, so then we put this guy back. Wait, monkey, I'm talking, okay? Don't hit mommy. Hey, I'm not playing with you, okay? He thinks we're playing. Um, so then, I'm not playing. I'm not, like, mommy's not smiling. She's not playing, okay? Thank you. So then uh, he held on to that thing for a little bit, and then he saw this thing again. So this thing is what we went with, and I'm glad I did because... Grandma's been teaching him about like money and like how to buy things and stuff. So I thought this was pretty cool. Not too many small little pieces either. What the idea? Yeah. So we're gonna open this up and then I'll walk you through everything else that I picked up. Again from Home Goods. Button. No, hold it like that. Okay, so he's ready. He's got his coins. The stuff he's gonna buy. What's this? Is this a scanner? Yes. Oh yes, he could scan it. What He's got it? his little conveyor belt. He's got his money. There's a credit card. Oh, let me hide the credit card number so you guys don't steal it. Okay, yeah. Yeah, he's ready to rock. Can you get a clean up in aisle seven? Can I get it? Can I get a clean up in aisle seven, please? No. All right. Well, that's what we got. Can I buy something? Okay. So this is what I bought. I got this thing because it resembles a tree trunk. It's gold, which I absolutely love. What am I gonna use it for? No clue, but it was only $14. So I'm like, where do I put this? Is that a tray? Yeah. Oh, that's heavy. And then I got these, because you know when you cook meat and stuff? It's like a pretty little serving oh. tray, but it's plastic. Oh, nice. Yeah, and it was $13, so I got two of these. Yeah, two of these. Ooh, to put ribs on there. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And it looks pretty. It does look nice. And then I bought us a bunch money, of... Money, money. I bought us towels, because I just really do just prefer white towels. And after a while, the white turns yellow. Or they get dirty or stained or whatever. Oh. Thank you. In a second, hold on, okay? And then I got us this. It's a six-foot... Charging cord. Ooh. Yeah. That's, uh, I think Way not longer. us. I think more you. Well, it's for you. Oh, this is us. Okay, you cool. see, you son of a... Well, because it was a pink one. I know, but you didn't, you spoke before you even let me finish. Where do you want me to put this in my backpack? You could put it in your butt. I don't care where you put it. Maybe the side of your bed so we don't have to do that turning thing. Oh, that's fine. Freaking hate that guy. But I really don't. But yeah, I saw these. Six foot long cord, which is awesome. So I'm going to put it on the side of my bed because... If you guys are on TikTok, it's the one where they like the guy's turning and then it's enough that it's charged and he's like, ah, and then he gets turned around. That's that's me too. Um, I got this and I was thinking this, I could put in here or I could put in here. I think this will look pretty nice. It has really pretty neutral colors in there or something. I don't know, I'll figure it out. Then I got, what else did I get? Oh, okay, I got this thing, it was really cool. It's syrup for coffees or whatevs, um, or cakes or whatever you're trying to make, but it's all zero calories, and I'm a big fan of that, especially when we're trying to diet. I thought this was really cool. Skinny syrups is what it's called. I don't know what it tastes like. So it may taste like Dukes, but who knows. I got a bunch of hand sanitizer because, you yeah, know, I got just different variations. I got a spray, I got a gel. Wait, 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 what did I tell you about crying? 
You have to use your words, okay? Um, and then I got this. Look, Taika, I got a sprinkle so when we make cookies. Mmm, yummy. You can put sprinkles. I'm gonna give this one. He could uh, care uh, less. Uh, that was uh, this. kind of purple. No, no. Oh, and good news. The yes, bottle is plastic. Yes. Uh, I got two big old king pillows. And this is gonna be for Taika. Because the one that he's using right now in the center, I like putting his stuff in the washer. I probably shouldn't, but I did. You know that these are bigger than him? Yeah, so that's exactly what I'm gonna do. The other one is like the body pillow where I keep him from from falling off Look the him bed. Look the side. Look the side. What's well, not bigger than him, so you're wrong. But yeah, one's like to prevent him from rolling you off. You want to okay. give him money? And then I got king pillowcases for that very reason. Thank you. So these, for two, it was 20 bucks. Okay. This pillowcase was 10 bucks. Then I got Hannah's hand, sanit or, yeah, hand sanitizer alcohol wipes. I got, this is for Taika for his little bed. Even though it looks like girl colors, I don't care. I like it. Because I'm a girl. Oh, and I think I started getting hungry because I got cookies. Uh oh, hi, cookies. Jam sandwich cookies. Ooh, that sounds good. Mm. Oh, damn, you never do that to me. Just kidding. I'm so okay, look at how cute this is, because November's right around the corner, or fall's right around the corner. Who knows what this fall's gonna be like. Clean up on yeah, floor. say clean up on aisle two. Okay, whatever. Uh, so yeah, I got these, because of course, Mickey Mouse, and they were only six bucks for a pair. So I thought that was really cute. I got some serving spoons, because we don't have any, I realize. A couple serving spoons. And then, I got, this is so cool. You know what this is? What is that? A backpack that turns into a towel. So Taika, whenever we go anywhere, he can bring his own towel. That's cool. It's super cool. So I got this, I got one for him. Oh, and it's a little bean bag. It comes with bean bags, so it's a game too. Okay. That is awesome, and I got one for Leia too. Uh, oh, she got a tic-tac-toe one. Yeah, and then I got this for our carpet over here. If you guys have slippery rugs or carpets, it's because you're missing this guy right here. So this shouldn't move this way because you're gonna fall and slip. You gotta put one of these guys. It's called no slip rug pad. You put it underneath, kind of like what the picture shows and then it prevents it from slipping. We have one here, I think. Wait, I should have checked before. Nope, we don't, but it's fine because it's not moving in because this it's a pool table here. But we do have one under that one and we do have one under this one as you guys can see the little crease right there. See that little bump right there? It's because underneath we have one too. You see that? So yeah, it prevents your rugs from slipping. So if it's slipping, you gotta quit tripping and buy one of these. Uh, What's wrong? I got so angry. And then I got wrapping paper because there's always some sort of birthday going on. Like, isn't there a bunch of birthdays in August? Like, was everyone just hooking up in December? January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August. Okay, November. Getting it on, y'all. And then just replacing some old. Yellow white towels with more white towels. This was only 40 bucks and it comes with four towels, uh, four like hand towels, and then these little face towels. That's a really good deal. That's a bargain. And that's all I bought. That's it. That's all I got. Oh, and the last thing. No, actually, that was everything. That's actually my mom's. Yeah, that's all we got. All right, this is probably one of the coolest things in the world. Shout out to the homie, Chef Chris, who owns a Korean barbecue spot. During these times, I know a lot of people wanna go out to restaurants, but they can't. And guess what? He's gonna send the Korean barbecue to your house via the Korean barbecue kit. Look at this. Has everything you need, man. You got the meats, even has an ice pack. You got kimchi. You got bean sprouts, you got all the sides and the sauces, even a whole bottle of sauce. You got 
seaweed, and even rice. Literally everything. And oh, it even teaches you how to do it. Oh, come on, dude. It doesn't get any easier than this. This is dope, and I bet after you're done, you can just throw everything in this box and just throw it away. Damn, shout outs to the homie Chris for the Korean barbecue kit. Yum, yum, yum. Ooh, Korean barbecue at home with all the proper fixings. Look at that. We got rice, and even the little monkey Cheeto is eaten. Is it yummy? No. Oh my god. I'm sorry, Chris. But Taika does not approve. I do approve. It's really, really good. So uh, make sure you go check that out. KBBKit.com. Uh, KBBQKit.com. And you can get Korean barbecue at your house. We even got the corn, dude. So yummy. Good job. Good job. I don't think I have to say anything, right? You get what's happening. The first Chinese Mexican NBA basketball player. Oh, sit. Oh, Woo! what? Damn. Yeah. A trophy Ooh, again. Good job. Yeah. Good oh, yeah. Job. oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Woo! Yeah, three for three. Yeah. High five, Good champion. Job. So, okay, I'll explain a little even though I said you don't need explaining. It started off here, too easy, another went here, one. another one. Good job, another one. Uh, moved it here, too easy. Moved it here, I think it's too easy. Where should we put it next? Someone needs to give this kid a Nike sponsorship. I know Nike has a development team where they start scouting people in like high school and even college, but Preschool, not even preschool. All he wears is like some baby size shoes. Those are cheap. Send him some Nike shoes. He's already wearing the gear. <laughs> he is wearing Nike. <laughs> Come on, dude. We need we got a Nike sponsor athlete right here. Whoa, hey. Look at that. He was sponsored by his mom. That's she's the one that got him the Nike. He's over and over. This is like the next Steph Curry. Oh my god, we got a Steph Curry in the house. What? Unstoppable. <laughs> Nike, you are unstoppable. <laughs> Oh, we need to take a Dandy Busters so we can get some tickets. <laughs> Unstoppable, Taika! Whoa! What are, are you the next Jordan? Okay, okay, he's human. He's we human. A, we need a Last Dance documentary on this guy. This is the guy that did the Last Dance documentary. I think we need to take away this orange thing. That actually makes it harder. No way! For impossible! Me, watch, watch, watch. I'll shoot you. Watch. You're too make, good. That's what I you're trying to say? I want to make it. See? It makes it pop out. But not for him. He's oh, cause good. he's good. Every time I shoot the orange, it pop out. Watch. Go, Tiger, go. You shoot it. Your go. turn. One, two, three, go. See, look, you mix it. Oh, I make it too. Okay, make another documentary on this guy. Not me, not me. Come on, Tiger, go. Damn. Okay. Yeah, How many shots? Like 20. You did with the trophy. Good job. All right, you guys get to feel what the hoop feels. <laughs> that really, nothing went in, so that's what you guys felt. Go. So can you handle some defense, though? <laughs> Damn. Stop! What a defense. bully! You can handle the defense, huh, can you? That's so manly. <laughs> All right, you guys, on that note, thank you so much for spending your time on us. We really appreciate it. Um, I hope you had a good time and I hope we made you smile even a little bit. So thank you so much for watching and see you guys tomorrow.